Experience the new Simatic S7 1200 smart applications. The podcast demonstrates how easy it is for you to configure drives with the new Step 7 basic block library and how you can control them using the USS protocol. Chapter 1. Application Overview The following hardware is required for controlling the universal serial interface called USS Protocol, an RS-485 communication module, an S7-1200 controller, a frequency converter, for example, Synamix G110, and an asynchronous motor. A USS network with up to 16 drives can be configured per communication module. Drives that are connected to other communication modules belong to another USS network. Since an S7-1200 controller supports up to three communication modules, a total of up to 48 drives can be used. Chapter 2 USS Protocol Function The USS Library, integrated in Step 7 Basic, simplifies the necessary programming steps for an efficient communication between the controller and Siemens drives. The drive function block is used for controlling the drives. For the communication and exchange of drive parameters with the frequency converter, the port functions and the read and write parameters are available. You only need one joint instance data block for the temporary data storage of all drives that are connected to a communication module. The USS functions for these drives have joint access to the information in this data block. The drive function block provides the access to a certain drive in the USS network from the user program. Input and output data provide the status and command information of a drive. If, for example, there are three connected drives in a communication module, then the drive function blocks are called three times. Drive function blocks may only be called in the cyclic main program with the frequency required for the application. With the drive function block, up to eight drive parameters per drive can be read and written. With these parameters, the frequency converter is controlled according to the application. If more than eight parameters are required, the read parameter function can be used for reading and the write parameter function can be used for writing the drive parameters. The two functions must also be called from the OB main program. The USS port function controls the data transfer between the controller, the communication module, and the drive in the USS network. Only one port function call per communication module is necessary in the program. Each call of this function controls a transfer to or from one single drive. The USS port function must be called frequently enough to prevent drive timeouts. This is why this function is called from an interrupt OB, so that the current data is available for all program functions. Chapter 3. The USS Drive Function Block The USS Drive Function Block generates request messages to the corresponding drive and evaluates the response and status messages of the drive. For each drive, a separate function block has to be used. All functions assigned to a communication module must use the same instance DB. Enter the data block name when you add the USS DRV function block for the first time. Subsequently, you continue to use this DB which was created when you added the first operation. When the USS drive is executed for the first time, the instance data block 
that is indicated by the USS address drive parameter is initialized. Only after this initialization can the USS port function start communicating with the drive of the indicated drive number. The communication with the drives occurs after the execution of USS port. USS drive only configures the requirements to be sent and evaluates the data that was received after previous requests. Chapter 4 The USS Port Function Since every data exchange to a drive requires a certain amount of time, there is a smallest possible call interval for each possible bode rate. The table shows that for a bode rate of 9600 bode, the cyclic interrupt would have to have a value of 120 milliseconds to guarantee smooth communication to the next drive. Please note that a higher bode rate may mean a higher sensitivity to electromagnetic interferences. The port function has to use the same instance DB as all other USS functions that are assigned to a certain communication module. Chapter 5. The Global USS Protocol Library In the task card for libraries under the Global Libraries palette, you find the blocks for the USS communication, the drive function block for the message requests, the port function for the data transfer, the RPM function to read the parameters, and the WPM function to write the drive parameters. Chapter 6. Call and Configuration of the USS Drive Function Block Only call the USS Drive FB in the main OB1. We use a TON timer on delay with a delay of 500 milliseconds to guarantee the consistent updating of drive states. In this example, the USS Drive Call function contains two USS Drive Calls. Below, we look at how to configure these drive calls. All USS drive functions of a USS network share this information in one single instance data block. Since USS drive is a function block, you will be prompted to specify an instance data block in the call options when you are calling the block. If you call the USS drive for the very first time for a drive, you can use the suggested instance data block or specify a separate name. This automatically creates the data block. If, however, this is not the first USS drive call for this communication module, then you must use the drop-down list in the Call Options dialog to select the data block previously created for this USS network. Now we will introduce the required block parameters of the USS drive block. All other block parameters are optional. You must configure the run input to control the drive. You must specify the address of the drive on the drive parameter. The NDR, new data ready, and error outputs are mutually exclusive. Either an NDR or an error may be pending to inform you of a successful data update. The error and status outputs of the instruction refer to communication errors. It does not refer to status words that are output by the drive. An error may be pending whilst the drive is still working. The error and status output values are only valid for one cycle. The move instruction saves these status values for later analysis. Chapter 7 Call and Configuration of the USS Port Function The USS Port instruction can be called from the main OB1 or the interrupt OB. In this example, we call the USS Port instruction in a cyclic interrupt, OB201 with a call interval of 120 milliseconds. This guarantees a steady call interval for the USS port function. 
The program has to execute the USS port function often enough so that no timeout occurs in the drive, and the latest data updates are always available. Now we are going to configure the USS port function. Since the USS port instruction is a function, it is not necessary to assign a data block in the editor. Instead, you must assign the appropriate DB to the USS DB input parameter. Double click on the parameter field and then click the selection icon to see the possible data blocks. Now the required parameters of the USS port instruction are explained in more detail. All other parameters are optional. You have to specify the RS-485 communication module on the port input parameter. You have to specify the bode rate used at the bode input parameter. As previously described, a speed of 9600 bode has to be used for a USS port call interval of 120 milliseconds. The error and status output parameters of the USS port instruction are only valid for one execution cycle. This is why a move instruction has to be used to save the information. Chapter 8 Summary With the global USS library integrated in Step 7 BASIC, it is very easy to program a drive using the Universal Serial USS Interface Protocol. If you are using three communication modules in the S7-1200, up to 48 drives can be operated. Additional information is provided on our website.